who's the better ball brother right now? Some are going to say it's obviously the reigning ROI, but given Lonzo's much better defense and improvement over the last few years, here's why it's a legitimate debate and ultimately my pick for who's better between Lonzo and LaMelo. If you haven't already and enjoy my content, help the channel get to 50k by subscribing. Also, splash thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps the video spread to more people. Now let's get into this. Their meteoric rise from Chino Hills to the NBA has been incredible to witness, and the fact that both Lonzo and LaMelo have gone on to have notable success in the NBA with all the noise around them is something both brothers should feel a ton of pride in. While they share the same last name and position, personality-wise, these two are polar opposites. Of course, they're brothers first and competitors second. Having said that, in head-to-head -head matchups, little brother Melo dominated his older bro, something the newest Chicago Bull will have to make up for in 2022. However, Lonzo just got paid $84 million over four years for a reason. Not only was he one of the best point guards in this year's free agent class, but he's carved out the archetype of a solid three-point shooting playmaker who can also lock up his matchup defensively. Six foot six like LaMelo, unlike LaMelo who has a six foot six wingspan, Lonzo's wingspan stretches out to six foot nine inches wide. Watch how that reach combined with Zoe's swift lateral movement threw off one of the toughest guards to stick with in basketball back in February. On this night, John Morant was held to five for 14 shooting on one of five from deep, but throughout his four-year career, Lonzo's showed elite instincts defending the perimeter. He finished his first season tied with Ben Simmons for the rookie lead in steals per game. However, unlike LaMelo, Lonzo's rookie year was underwhelming for the most part. He shot 36% from the field and just 30% from deep, and after LeVar implied Lonzo was better than Curry on ESPN, we all thought that Zoe was all hype. And that seemed to be true when LeBron came to town in the summer of 2018. Lonzo wasn't ready to provide adequate support to James and was traded away with Brandon Ingram in exchange for Anthony Davis. After missing close to 70 games in his first two seasons, in New Orleans, Lonzo missed another 36 games in the next two years with the Pels. He's got to stay healthy. Having said that, Lonzo broke out this past season in 2021, posting career highs in points per game at 14.6, just over a point behind Melo's average this year, as well as career highs in field goal, three-point, and free throw percentage. In his first two years, Ball was a below average shooter from the three-point stripe, as well as the foul line, but in his last two campaigns with New Orleans, the point guard has been near elite from the arc at 38%, and he finished 2021 at 78% accuracy on free throws. Lonzo's far from a finished product, but his offensive evolution fueled his breakout season in New Orleans and makes this a serious debate between who's the better player. Meanwhile, LaMelo Ball's already answered the question this video asks. Is LaMelo Ball better than Alonzo Ball, or is his play style just drastically different? Huh. I'm gonna go with LaMelo Ball is better. It's just a fact. That's, that's it, all right? Play style, different. I mean, we got some similarities, but then we also got a lot of differences. I think the difference is I'm better. That's just my opinion. Melo's coming off a year where he just won the Breakthrough Athlete of the Year at the ESPYs. The self-assured, flashy, and multi-talented, recently turned 20-year-old has the basketball world at his fingertips after a mesmerizingly impressive rookie campaign. Instantly blossoming into one of the faces of the NBA, LaMelo became the only NBA player in the last 60 seasons to lead all rookies in total points, rebounds, assists, and steals at the All-Star break. In just his 10th career game, at 19 years and 140 days, he became the youngest player ever to record a triple-double. The man also became the third player aged 19 or younger to record multiple games of 20 points, 10 dimes, and 5 boards joining LeBron James and Luka Doncic, but now Melo has a target on his back entering year two, and the challenge for the entertainer is standing up to adjusted defensive game plans 
and avoiding a sophomore slump. As I mentioned in my most recent Every Teams video, Melo averaging 20 and 10 is the Charlotte Hornets' biggest goal, other than getting to the playoffs, of course. I think that stat line's well within reach for the playmaking artist who has a flair for the dramatic. Lamelo's the only one of his three brothers who got his dad's personality genes, which could either make or break his NBA success. If he manages his ego, bringing just the right amount of confidence and intensity will benefit him with the competitiveness and trash talk in the NBA. However, becoming too self-obsessed could lead him down a dark path that we've seen many promising talents fall into. For Charlotte to win more games in 21-22, we'll of course have to see Melo with more talent around him, which could arise from the internal development of Miles Bridges and the recently drafted sharpshooter James Booknight. While Lamelo led all rookies in steals, his defense will have to dramatically improve. Whether he was faced with ISO scenarios or pick and roll coverage, Melo got exposed in space. More on that defense in a second. Now into a mix of basic and advanced stats to further compare these big ballers. The advantage in field goal percentage and overall efficiency goes to LaMelo Ball. Melo shot 43.6% from the field and his PER was also better than his brother's at 17.6, ranking him 18th among all point guards. Lonzo ranked down at number 28 in that advanced stat. Lonzo ranked third among point guards in real plus minus, but it's specifically on defense where the biggest disparity between he and his younger brothers displayed. Lonzo ranked down at a very solid 11th among point guards in defensive real plus minus, and Lamelo ranked all the way down as the 81st point guard in that area, directly in front of Kira Lewis Jr. Stats don't tell the full story whatsoever though, but taking into account the evident on-court value, and everything you've heard in this video, who's the better player entering the 21-22 season? Next year will determine a lot, and if LaMelo gets off to a fast start, he could separate himself as the far superior ball brother. Putting things into perspective though, given the player efficiency rating from both Lonzo and LaMelo, it's clear these two have a long way to go before they can be considered among the best point guards in the world. But staying on topic, if it was a poll on someone's Instagram story, you'd instinctively pick LaMelo. And to be honest, going into the writing of this video, my intuition was telling me that this was easily Melo. But after carefully breaking down the defensive impact, going through the advanced stats, and watching the defensive highlights of Lonzo, the decision became a lot tougher. With their off-season acquisitions, the Bulls have set themselves up for a top 3-6 to six seed in the East. Lonzo Ball's perimeter defense and quarterbacking nature should really help them. Having said that, it's so close between he and his younger bro that I have to go to the head-to-head -head matchups to decide this one. Melo got the best of Lonzo in every aspect of the game in their two matchups and looked a lot more comfortable going against his blood brother. Given he had an incredible rookie season, I'm giving the slight edge to the soon-to-be sophomore Lamelo, but with a playoff appearance in Chicago, Lonzo has a chance to change that perspective in 2022. That's just my take though, let me know yours in the comments section. Hope you have a great day, DFlow signing off.